Welcome back all you space junkies out there. We're going to be looking at another sneak peek here at the SBS Empyrean server coming right up. So right now we're just going to take off from the very beginning. Um, basically this is what it looks like when you first log into the server and get out of the uh, the cargo ship here and walk down the pad and to the receiving officer. And yeah, he's like, hey, talk to me first. Um, you don't have to, but you probably should. Anyway, um, yeah, he recognizes me. He's going to give me a little blurb here. Um, we'll just kind of go through all this. Some of you guys have seen this before. I just kind of wanted to put this in the video here for those that haven't. So this is just how you get started. He's like, hey, figure out what class you want to be. And there's four different classes here. We're going to skip right to the warrior class because uh, I want to show you guys a couple things here. And again, you, you may have already seen some of this before, but... Um, I want to show you this again now just because there's a couple things added here, especially with the Bounty Hunters Guild, which is really what we're going to be talking about here in a few minutes. But, uh, yeah, I just want to show you. This is this is basically how you, you choose the path of the warrior. You actually go in, you, you get 3,000 unlock points, and you spend it there. And the moment you do that, after talking to this guy, you have, you have completed that task, and you are now on the path to be a warrior. One of the benefits of being a warrior is that you have the ability to make the AA-12 here. This shotgun, we're gonna we're gonna let you see what that's all about here. I'm gonna mow down a tree just to uh, just to show you what it does. It's got a 10 round magazine. Yeah, it uh, kind of goes to town there. On uh, tree. Oh shit! Oh shit! No, I didn't know it was your tree. I didn't know it was your tree. Okay, yeah, it, it doesn't just kill trees; it kills these things too. Uh, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna fast forward a little bit and get out of there. And yeah, so now you see I have an open wound. Um, where do I go to get that fixed up? Well, we're uh, we're at the Bounty Hunters Guild right here. You can't get in there, though, unless you have this card. This is one of the perks you get when you, you go down the path of being a warrior when you first start out. So you get one of those cards right off the bat, which means, yep, you've got access into this joint right here. Um, if you don't have the card on you, so I'm just going to drop it on the ground right now, uh, you don't have access. So, yeah, you can't get in there. Not without that card. So, yeah, we're going to go pick that up again put it in our inventory. And as long as it's in your inventory, uh, you're good to go. So you can walk right in here. I'm going to immediately go to the uh, the little medic station here in the back and uh, get myself all fixed up. So as a warrior, yeah, you, you will, as a default, have access to this little zone here. And there's, there's uh, medic stations in the back there. This guy has uh, bounty hunter missions he will be able to hand out to you as well. So you'll be able to enjoy that uh, as the warrior class. So one thing, uh, one thing I wanted to mention here too is that there, there is the the very real possibility that you will lose that card. It's just an inventory item rolling around your inventory. You may lose it, and uh, so we're gonna look at how you actually are gonna get that back. Certain items and NPCs in the game actually won't react to you uh, unless it knows what class you are. And so right here, we're going to activate the mission to display our warrior credentials, which is important to do. So it. This console will now realize we're a warrior, it recognizes us, and it says, hey, you want to apply for the permit here to get into this club? Uh, yeah, you do. Um, be careful. It warns you right there. It's going to take 50 credits out of your account immediately, and it's going to count down uh, for an hour. So it takes that. You can't do any other mission while you're doing this. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys was the, uh, the, new, the new blocks we added to the HV. This was a request. They came in last time. Uh, somebody wanted more powerful drilling devices for the HV. So that's what it looks like with just the normal drills on it. Um, and you can see I made a little crater there just like you normally do with, with the HV. But we're going to swap that out. We're going to put the uh, the new drills on it. And these basically equate to the, the CV drills. So really it's the range is the biggest difference there. Um, but it also does more damage. But uh, yeah, we'll start drilling the ground here. And yeah, look at that. Boy, we're... Just drilling a canyon into the middle of this, this little area here. Um, God, you guys are going to be destroying play fields with this thing, aren't you? Anyway, so uh, <laughs> that's that. Uh, we also added a, a drill turret as well. So this is just, just a drill turret. It's not uh, a tool turret. But uh, again, this is the, the CV equivalent. And so it's got the range and the destruction that you would expect from, uh, from that type of, of weapon. So <laughs> there. There you go, just annihilating the landscape. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna go well. Anyway, um, you guys asked for it, there it is. That is the episode. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, the sneak peek here of SBS Season 3 server. And with that, I will see you all in the galaxy. Have a good one.